Hey you guys, long time no see. I know I have been in my A for a good little while, a good little minute, but I've just been living life, you know? Um, so many things I know have happened since I've been gone. The uh, people climbing up the wall at the Capitol, the George Floyd trial, the Breonna Taylor trial, just a whole bunch of stuff. So I am glad and happy to be back. So today's is gonna be a full get ready with me. So let's just let's just hop right on in, child. So um, in my previous videos, I focused a lot, a lot, a lot on eyeshadow, but um lately there has been a like a specific type of look that i am looking for oh hey for this put my wig on child i almost forgot i had it on but yeah um lately i have been focusing more on like the skin aspect and when i say skin it's like now i want my makeup and i know i'm looking over here it's my screen i'm making sure that i'm still in focus and everything's still looking good so uh yeah so lately i have been wanting my skin to look a certain way like i just want the makeup to look more like airbrushed and airy and natural natural if you know what i mean um so i I'm, I'm still into shadow don't get me wrong but i've been kind of taking a step back so today i'm going to just really you know focus on my skin put my little lashes on and then um i'm gonna put my wig on child and then we're gonna move to the outfit so let's hop right on in so for my primer i'm gonna be using fenty fenty beauty i always forget the name of it pro filter pro filter primer and this is in soft silk i have everything in the description but this is fenty fenty beauty uh primer pro filter primer in soft silk so i'm just gonna squirt some my hand just like that rub together and then rub on my face now before this step i definitely moisturized my face i washed and moisturized this morning when i got up i think that's super super important for the foundation of your makeup but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that on another video. I'm not gonna do too much with that right now. But yes. I hope you guys have been well. I hope that everyone has, you know, just been on their grind, doing the things that they wanna do, you know, and us, especially as women, I hope you know y'all have been taking care of yourselves because I know I'm not I'm not good with that at all but lately I have been doing so much better with that lately I have been doing so much better with that um I've been you know whenever I can I go in the restaurant take my little old bath or whatever um every now and then I'll try to get a massage and again you know that could be for the video as well but I just it's, it's super super important that we take care of ourselves ladies we do any and everything and be any and everything for everyone else but when it comes to us we kind of like neglect ourselves a bit so yeah just take care of yourselves ladies the best that you can so i started i squirted my sponge like three times with a water bottle and then i had my fenty beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation and it's in the shade 350 and I squirted about three drops on my sponge. So now I'm just going to put, put it on my face, just dab, 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 basically in all the areas of my face and then start to put it on. Start tapping it in. You don't necessarily have to use a sponge. You can use a brush if you want. A foundation brush, a fluffy, some sort of fluffy brush. I've used I've used a brush before and I've used a sponge, but I kind of prefer the sponge. Cause it just I, I like being able to press the foundation or the makeup into my skin.
I'm going to bring a little bit down to under here on, on my turkey neck and a little bit on my neck just so it's not looking super weird and like two different colors because you know what I may, I may also need to go a darker shade in this foundation because I got a little tan going on and this shade right here may be a little too light but I'm gonna see so yeah I may I may have to go a shade darker everybody has uh well I mean if you go outside I mean I guess everybody has a summer shade and a winter shade and of course your summer shade is always gonna be darker it's heavy darker than your winter shade so keep that in mind when you are purchasing foundations and concealers and all that all right so that's blended in nicely all right next i'm going to apply concealer i'm going to apply two so i like to use a darker a darker color and uh, the shade slightly lighter than the darker color and this is Tarte creamy ultra creamy I'm sorry shape tape and then this is Fenty Pro Filter I'm gonna start with the Fenty because that's my darker shade so I'm just gonna do a few a few streaks just like that bring it down a little bit and I'm gonna do a few right here and on my chin and my forehead and then with the shape tape my lighter shade I'm gonna add some of that right underneath my eye now this process I have to do a little fast because I have little lines and little fine lines under my eyes and they crease child so I'm not trying to be stuck out having to start all over because my concealer then creased and it's just everything is setting in the creases so I gotta move pretty quickly so I don't know about y'all but myself and the ladies in my life myself and the ladies in my life have been talking a lot about the summer and just you know wanting to look and feel our best so we're like y'all we're gonna have a hot girl summer this year okay so we have just been really big on that and we've been talking a lot about you know working out and uh changing our diets and just eating and just doing better overall because you know we we deserve that and we owe it to ourselves to look and feel our best you know because it's so easy to just get caught up in all of the different aspects and responsibilities in life especially you know when you have a family yeah especially when you have a family you know kids husband you gotta run your household and then you know your job and even if you don't have kids and a husband you know it's just still a lot um you know just trying to maintain your household and then your job you know if you're working a lot and just trying to stay on top of your health and you know looking and feeling your best it's just a lot it's a lot so we definitely owe it to ourselves to have us a high girl summer so why not you know so that's what we are uh doing or focusing on this summer we don't have a summer girl summer we're gonna look good and we're gonna feel good and we're gonna be confident no matter what so with no further ado welcome to the hot girl summer series we are kicking it off with this hot girl summer makeup and then i'm gonna show you guys how to dress up a, like a casual like a cute casual type outfit I'm gonna show you guys how to like kick it up a notch so you won't necessarily have to spend extra money on a certain type of outfit you know what I mean just to you know try to look quote-unquote cute no you can wear what you have in your closet and just 
spruce it up a bit and bam you have so now I'm gonna hurry up <laughs> and set this concealer with my uh, J LaRue setting powder and what shade is this it's in I don't, I don't remember I'll have it in the description box below so I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and set what I just did and you know what I may add a bit more concealer just to brighten it up a tad bit more under my eyes because that's just that's just how I like it okay so let me go ahead I'm gonna add a little bit more of that shape tape just a little bit because I already see it trying to crease in my fine lines so let me go ahead and work that in there I'm not gonna spray my beauty blender again because it's still pretty damp so it's good And again, you don't have to do this once you put your concealer on the first time. You can move right on to setting it. But I'm doing this because I like for my under eyes to, you know, just look nice and bright, you know. I like to look bright-eyed and wishy too. So, I'm old, y'all. Like, I don't even know if people still say that anymore. <laughs> but, yeah, I just said it, so. Okay. So, now I'm going to take... Uh, the same sponge and I'm going to turn it over on the other side and just do a few dips in the top of the setting powder and then dab it under my eyes quickly and this is my first time using using this setting powder so we're going to see how this goes Okay, it looks like it got a little glitter in it. Don't necessarily know how I feel about that. Okay, so I'm basically setting everywhere. I'm setting everywhere that I put concealer. And I just realized that I forgot to put some on my nose. But you know what? That's okay. Setting powder to the rescue. I'm going to work it up just like that. just like that and I don't usually let my powder sit and bake because I have dry I have dry skin so I like to go ahead and immediately remove my my excess powder so I use a fluffy brush nothing super super big because I like to be able to really get under my eyes just swipe away I will tell y'all that I am a little sunburnt so that does leave me pretty vulnerable to some dry spots which I have right here and right here at the bridge of my nose and you know what it is what it is like I used to I used to look kind of like freak out about that but I can't change that I got burned up um, I don't remember. Did I use sunscreen? I, I don't know, child. But yeah, just use sunscreen when y'all go out in the sun. Uh -huh. And you might still get burned up, but it is what it is. It's the name of the game. Um, whenever you're out in that hot ass sun. Okay, so I'm going to use some Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray just to help that set in. 
and that probably uh will help to not probably i know it will absolutely help to blend in that setting powder it'll help melt it in a lot better and i'm going to be doing that like throughout this whole process because it really does help set and blend and melt i don't know why i keep saying blend it helps to melt everything in place so you're definitely going to be seeing me doing doing that again um next i contour now i usually use this juvia's place uh, multi-purpose foundation stick but i don't know i feel like i kind of just because I, I normally use this which is a cream let's show y'all yeah it's a cream and i um normally just set that with a bronzer but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do the bronzer today because i just i feel like that's gonna give me more of the uh soft sultry type look that i'm going for so let me just do that so the bronzer that i'm gonna use is uh fenty fenty beauty and it's in the shade of island ting so oh the the name of the, the name of the girl i am going so blank the name of the bronzer is sun stalker and it's in the shade of island ting there we go so it's this shade right here i don't like to get anything super 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 dark because then it's just gonna like offset the the makeup and the whole look and i can't have that so i am so yeah i like to get like a lighter cocoa not cocoa i don't know caramel <laughs> yeah i just like to get something that's like caramel brown sugary-ish but of course your color bronzer depends on your natural skin tone so you always want to your uh, bronzer and your contour always should be like a shade or two darker than your natural skin tone just so you know it'll show up and you know you'll be able to see it so i'm gonna get one of my fluffy brushes oh i am skipping a step i'm sorry and i left it over there let me go get it okay so i'm going to set everything that i just did with this mac studio finish and it's in nc 43 and i'm gonna get one of my fluffy brushes this is a nyx not nyx a elf brush and it's called a flawless face brush i always want to set my face with the fluffier brush because for one it uh makes it makes the process go by faster and then it just gives you more of that airbrush finish in my opinion so as you can see i'm not necessarily like going completely underneath my eye because i already have that the way i want it to look and i always like like i said earlier i always like for my under eye to be more brighter than the rest of my face so i'm gonna leave that area be and just go around it And again, don't mind me when I'm looking over here. I'm just watching my monitor, making sure everything still looks good and in focus. Um, now on my forehead, I do go over the setting powder on my forehead and on my chin and my nose. Because I don't like those areas to be super, I don't want those areas to be too, too, you know, bright. I like for my under eyes to be the brightest. I'm gonna take this little small brush again and I'm gonna get a little bit and then get my nose. I always want to use a smaller fluffier brush to get the bridge of my nose. I like to be able to get in there and get things done. Okay so now I can move on to my bronzer. So I'm gonna grab another fluffy brush and this is a Morphe brush the m105 so just gonna dab in the bronzer and then i like to tap tap off any excess powder because i don't want to do too much i really don't like the look of too too much bronzer you know i like it to look nice and and soft and i do i use tapping motions with the brush along my cheekbone sometimes i'll do the fish face Sometimes not, it depends. So 
so I'm just going to uh, keep using my tapping motions. And from, uh, yeah, from my cheekbones, I'm just following, like, you know, the shape of my head. And I'm just tapping right, right above my eyebrows and my forehead, if that makes sense. I hope I'm saying it right. I am so terrible at explaining stuff sometimes. I just, terrible. But I'm just going to keep doing that same thing. And I try to be careful not to bring the contour like all the way out to here, like too close to my lip. I don't necessarily like that look. So just keeping, I just try to keep in mind to keep it short when I'm on my cheek. That makes sense. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. And you can keep doing this until you get it to your liking. pretty close to having it to my liking. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I keep looking at this dry sunburnt part under my eye and I'm just like, ooh. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go grab some Fenty setting powder and I'm gonna tap me a little powder over that and see how that goes because this is not working for me okay so now I'm going I'm going to go in with this elf brush it's actually an eyeshadow brush because it's called a crease brush but uh, I very rarely use it for eyeshadow I like to use it for my nose and again I like the fluffiness of this brush because it gives me more of that airbrush type soft finish that I'm going for here I don't like to do too too much on my nose because that's just not cute to me I still want my nose to you know look pretty natural even though I am kind of you know altering the shape of it a bit I still want it to look as natural as possible and yeah that's enough all right so let me grab that uh setting powder really quickly I hate when I leave stuff over yonder because it's way across the room Okay, I'm gonna get it. I hate doing that because I always come back out of breath and just embarrassing. But anyways, this is the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Banana. I'm not sure if I want to use the sponge or a brush. Sometimes when I use that brush, you know what? Ugh. Okay, let me let me use the sponge. No, because I've not already used the other stuff. Uh-uh. Let me just use a brush. Because I'm only using a little bit. I'm gonna tap the excess powder off of that because I just want a little bit I probably just should have used this one in the first place because this is definitely a staple for me okay all right get a little a little something something okay what it is it fixed it a little bit but yeah it is what it is okay so let me make sure my bronzer is looking the way I want it to look and it pretty much is I like it and I've been sitting here trying to figure out as I was doing this am I going to use a little blush or not probably yeah let me use a little blush but uh, before that let me put on my lashes i put these on I, I don't know if y'all can see these i just wore these the other day i mean they're good for more of a soft natural type look so yeah yeah i'll do those okay so to put these on i'm going to use this kish glue kish kiss lash glue liner this is basically like glue in a pen. 
and I really really like it I normally this is my first time uh, not necessarily my first time but this is my first time buying this because I normally use the glue in um I normally use the glue that's in the tube. It goes on like nail polish. I don't know what's wrong with me today. This is very convenient and the lashes not going nowhere, child. I be, you know, pulling on them, making sure that they, they gonna stay and they do. So I'm like, yes, kiss. I am not mad at y'all for this. And I'm pretty sure I'm behind on the curve, but I don't care. Okay. Shake it up a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of apply it like I do my eyeliner, but not necessarily because I'm going to go over this a little bit with my eyeliner. So, close. Ooh. Did not set my eyes. Jesus. Back to the glue. So I'm just going to start making a line thick enough to, you know, get the lash on there. And then thick enough so I can put my eyeliner on top. Okay, now I'm gonna get my lash and put it on top. I kinda gotta move a little quickly because this stuff be drying. Bam. Yes, I so love the convenience of that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I kind of got to be careful with how much I'm using because I kind of do kind of treat it like eyeliner and I don't have, I don't necessarily need to do that because I'm going to be wasting, I'm going to be wasting all my glue. So all I need is a little strip to get it on there real good and that's it. Yeah, it's like, woo! Y'all have no idea. I am so in love with this pen. It is so quick, it is so easy. If y'all don't have one, get y'all one. Like for real, for real. So now I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of my eyeliner just to, you know, clean it up a bit make it look more neat and I like a bit of a wing nothing too too drastic Ooh, my eyes are foggy and I'm going to be using Juvia's Place palette the what is it the saharan yeah the saharan blush the saharan blush volume two and i'm going to be using the color b it's like a pinkish purplish type color magenta maybe i don't know but i'm just going to tap that right above right above that contour Just like that. And I don't like for my blush to come down too far or too close to my lips either. So whenever I feel like that has happened, I grab this little small fluffy brush here and then this uh, MAC Studio Fix. And I tap a little bit in here, get rid of the excess powder. And then I just, you know, tap, okay, I don't remember which side I put the powder on. Uh, okay, so yeah, I tap just like that, just to make sure 
see that it's not down too far and if it is I can cover it up yeah okay so okay yeah that's enough that's enough blush and uh okay so i'm gonna spray with a little setting spray again i want to set what i what i have done let that dry and then i'm gonna use a little mascara this is maybelline snap mascara i really need another one low key y'all don't keep your mascara for too long it's not it ain't cute and it's not healthy or not healthy Sanitary is not sanitary. So I'm just gonna put some on my lower lash line. Again, you don't have to do this, but I just like the look of it. And be careful because if you sneeze or make the wrong move, that's it, sis. You trust me? Both have happened to me before. I know. All right. So now I'm going to do my highlight, which is with the Tribe. I don't ever know the name of my stuff. The Tribe Highlighter Volume Two by Julius Place, and it's this bronzy, cute bronzy gold, golden type color. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but I'm gonna get one of these small, smaller fluffy brushes. And I'm going to start on my nose. So just a few taps and then. Alright, next or lastly is lips. So let me put these back. I'm gonna get my lip liner. This is a regular old beauty supply lip liner in dark brown. And then I'm going to use this butt gloss by NYX. And it is in the shade of Madeline. I think I'm saying that right. Okay, so I'm just gonna line my lips. And I do go, I do line a little bit above my lips because as y'all can see, my lips are not the most full. So I like to exaggerate my lip line just a little bit. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to set my face with this Mario Badescu skincare spray. It's a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I really, really, really do like this product line. Um, I've only used the skincare sprays, but um, I, I've had this one. And then a cucumber, uh, I think green tea is in that one too. These are amazing. I even use these like for in my skincare routine sometimes. Um, but I really, really love how they set my makeup like for real, for real. It melts everything to my face and it smells so, 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 so good. So definitely definitely get y'all some of this i got some from ulta don't remember how much it is but um uh it's, it's in the budget sis it's in the budget so i'm gonna go ahead and spray a few sprays usually i'm a bit generous a bit more generous but I'm not gonna use that much today it's not necessary and then uh, you can use a blow dryer to like set everything in if you want or you can just grab something. This is one of my old eyelash uh, thingies or holders, whatever you want to call it. This is my old eyelash thing. So I just, you know, keep this close and use this. Alright sis, so I'm not going to keep sitting here looking bald head child. So I'm going to go ahead and put on this wig and no, I'm not going to put on the wig on camera because I am, you know. <laughs> No, maybe, you know, later on down the line, I'll do that. But right now, sis, I be struggling a little bit. So let me struggle in peace and I'll be right back. Okay, sis, see, this is exactly why I did not want to do or film the wig process. Because this is not the wig I was going to be wearing. 
But you know what? It's a much better choice because of what I said earlier. I said that I was going to show y'all how to dress up a super casual outfit for a hot girl summer. So, this is a headband wig that I got off Amazon and I have been in love with it. Absolutely love, love, love this wig. I love the convenience. It's pretty comfortable and it came with two complimentary headbands. So, yes this is uh definitely definitely a better fit for what we're trying to do today and so let's show the whole outfit okay so if you're on my desk you got a whole bunch of crap on it so now i'm going to show the full body outfit and i don't have any shoes or i already have on y'all already seen my jewelry but i don't have any shoes or bags or anything right now just the outfit and the accessories so this is a pretty a pretty casual outfit you know just a, a one tank from Old Navy and then I got these shorts from uh, Fashion Nova I think these shorts are still pretty casual a little bit a little bit on the dressy side but still like you can still like dress it down in a way but today we are dressing it up so um, since I have a good amount going on with the shorts I kept it plain with the, the white tank and I added, you know, a little necklace, and then I got my, still got my charm bracelet. So now I'm going to add the shoes of my choice and the bag. All right, so I'm back with my bag of choice. This is my bag. So it's like it's not, it's a little sparkly, but not super super sparkly. And then it got the chains. I just feel like the chain. I love when chains are on purses. Just I don't know. It, it does something to the purse to me, and I just love it. So I feel like you know, whenever a purse has a chain, it definitely, definitely you know spruces it up a bit. And for my shoes, I'm back like this. And for my shoes, I have you know some nude strappy heels. Let me step back so y'all can see. Yeah. For the shoes, I got new chubby heels. You know, I still, I dressed it up, but I still didn't do too, too much because I still have, you know, some stuff going on with my shorts, my Tina Turner shorts. This is how you can easily, you know, spruce up a casual outfit and make it a bit, you know, a bit more dressy and have you a hot girl summer. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I really love dressing up and you know doing my makeup. Really doing my makeup is like super 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 therapeutic. I absolutely love it. So if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up and like, share, and comment on this video. And I will see you guys in the next.